Subscribe to Boostup Station if you haven't and today we are going to install Termux in any Android mobile. So first of all copy this link to download the latest version of Termux. Copy and paste it into any of your browser. Like this one I am opening here. And if you scroll down a little bit more you will see the latest version on the top. Okay. Now click on this permissions and it will collapse now click on download apk to download the latest version of termux and here we go now click on start download and let's wait until the file is downloaded we don't need browser anymore now if you go to play store you can see that we have termux installed but the version is very old it is more than one year old and the play store is also going to remove it so I am going to uninstall the version from play store and install the latest version from the file we have downloaded right now and it is completed. So let me copy it to this location here and here we have the file downloaded. Click on it to install and click on install and it is installed. Click on open. Let it install the packages and it is done. Now what you have to do is copy the commands from this file. You can see right here. These three commands you have to copy and run inside Termux now. Hold your finger on it and click on paste. And you can press enter. Now it will update and upgrade all of the Termux repositories. Just wait for it to finish. Now here you have to type Y, okay, and then press enter. So all the packages have been updated. Now let us run the second command to install git and open SSH. Again, hold your finger on the Termux and click on paste and press enter. Now you might be wondering how this enter will come so you have to download hackers keyboard from play store or you can get it from the description these are also installed now we have the last command copy it this command will help you to access internal storage in the termx click on paste and press enter now it will bring up a pop-up to allow the accessing of files from your device so click on allow and now we are done with it you can type ls and here you can see we have storage so we can go to ls storage and all the files and folders are listed which means that storage access is also working perfectly fine now please subscribe to Boost Up Station and that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.